Hi, you might recognize me from such reviews as that one Steven Seagal movie and that other Steven Seagal movie. We like Steven Seagal on this channel, but if he watched the videos, he probably wouldn't feel the same. And I don't think this review is going to do us any favors. Against the Dark is a Steven Seagal movie that you might forget is a Steven Seagal movie while watching. I'll tell you right now, I don't hate the movie. I mean, it's absolute piss all around in terms of quality. But after my first watch, it didn't anger me like Code of Honor did or General Commander. This statement was later proved to be incorrect after my second watch. But thankfully, there is a lot of comedy here. So you can start unwrapping that quesarito. Let's start watching Against the Dark. I've seen a lot of great duos in my life. Jordan and Pippin, Brady and Gronk, me and Ray, today's sponsor. They have returned. They never left. They just stopped fucking with me for a bit. But that's neither here nor there. That's a stupid saying. You know what Ray is. Why are you making me do this? Free to play, mobile, and PC? Listen, if you check out the description, we have a live goal counter that shows the name of the gamers who use my link and reach level 10 in the game. And if a whole heap of you do it, Raid gives me a high five. Yeah. Dark Fantasy RPG, 500 champions to collect. I mean, look at them. They're like Neopets, except I've never looked at my Neopet like this. Hop in the tavern, upgrade and sacrifice your champions to make your team suck less. Progress through the campaign and get more champions to look at and artifacts and silver and stuff. You're still not convinced? You must be made of mountaintop. The main event Doom Tower is here. It's a tower of doom. 120 floors with 12 bosses to tussle. There's also Valentine's Day events coming up because Raid knows their audience. And when you use my download link below, give me the spreadsheet. You get 50 gems, three energy refills, an ancient shard, and boatloads more, including Bulwark, a rare dwarf defense... Sh what is this tongue twister? <laughs> uh, bulwark! A rare dwarf defense champion, and he's ready to doom tower it up. You can see it in his eyes. Download raid using my link below, and don't you dare forget about that snazzy counter. Because I love high fives, but I appreciate you either way. Thank you, raid, for sponsoring this video. Now, uh, usually I don't do this, but, uh, go ahead and break him off with the definition of infect. Affect a person organism with a disease causing organism contaminate with harmful organisms What a bland definition to start with. There's really no need for this type of stuff Just give me a bootleg Resident Evil narration explaining the apocalypse and move on Once the infection hit there was oh you do that too. That's fire. No, like literally that's fire But this intro's kind of ass here comes the Don the Mook Don my man looking like a hefty ultra flex out there choppy slow motion AKA, this shot was somehow worse at regular speed. These are the hunters. Their only goal is to hunt and kill vampires. We don't know why, they just do. There's no compensation, not sure how they stay fed. This guy's name is Tagart. Tagart? <laughs> Tagart? Sounds like a bench player for Globo Gym. It's gotta be the hair, Cotton. But the best character in this group of hunters is hands down Tagart. He's great. He fits the role. He's a badass. Seagal's like third in that tier list. Only because I realized about three quarters into the movie that there's a fourth. What's Seagal's name? Tao? Of course it is. So our actual, actual opening scene is a little kid being chased down by a horde of vampires only to be saved by the hunters. And this is where you see the caliber of action we're dealing with. Seagal slicing up atoms. Taggart gets knocked down. Oh no, he's dead. Hey, get off me. Huh? You immediately got up and shot the guy across the street? This vampire's dangerous, correct? Let's get this boy out of here, take him to a safe place. We're not here to decide who's right or wrong. We're here to decide who lives and dies. You know when a character tries to throw out a quotable, but you actually think about it for more than two seconds? We're not here to decide who's right or wrong. We're here to decide who lives and dies. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> We're not here to decide who's wrong or right. We're here to decide who lives or dies. That's the third time he said that today. I know. Like, what does that even mean? I mean, I kind of get what he's trying to get at, but... Who the fuck is he talking to? Is he, is that to us? Cause he's announcing it like he's the lead in a play. Let's get him to a safe place and also find a Burger King nearby. Did he said Burger King? Also, riddle me this, because they don't show where they take this kid. Take him to a safe place. What exactly is a safe place nowadays, guys? Care to divulge? Nothing? 
Okay. If you've watched modern day Seagal films, you've probably heard this next one. Hey, look, it's our actual main characters. You got Rhonda, Parker, and a coke addict. And a coke addict. This girl's supposed to be sick, but the body language they told her to do makes her look more like the druggie in a PSA. <laughs> I know marijuana is harmful. They're trying to find a pharmacy, but little do they know, there's a couple already here. And this is a pretty big deal. They both have not seen any other people in three weeks. They could be infected. They could be evil. Maybe Stoneface here has gingivitis. <laughs> so how's the weather? Not too bad? <laughs> Let's gear up. We trust you. There is a fun little scene where this vampire is filing her teeth to make him real fangy. Pretty cool. I look forward to interactions with her in the future. What now? What now? Most of the hallways and stairwells are blocked. I'm gonna have to find another way to the pharmacy. How'd you do that? You're so strong. sharpened your fangs to use a knife big brain and speaking of big brain let me explain their game plan here they want to go to the pharmacy located in this building to get medicine for the druggie they are told right off the bat most of the medication was stolen months ago but they still want to go check just in case their quarrel here is that a lot of areas are blocked off and the couple are trying to make their way to the only unlocked security exit to get to their pickup truck it's a very specific exit in this massive building that is powered by the generator that is slowly dying so there's a security door that's the only safe way out but the generator's dying with the power gone we can't open it. What happens if the generator fails before we reach the sub level? Then the security door won't open and we'll be trapped. Trapped? Trapped. Bit of a stretch there, Taken. Hung over Liam Neeson. I don't know. How are you trapped? if these dingoes entered from here, an area that you're like 45 seconds away from. I'm also gonna take the wild guess that there are other exit doors, breakable windows. If the generator shuts off, you just lose light and can no longer access your preferred exit. Trapped? Maybe we should just go back out the way we came in. Blow this place off all together. No, that'd be suicide. We can move around outside in the dark. Not anymore. Why not anymore? What's changed? Sounds like you guys have had this shit on easy mode. You've just been cruising on the run. Matter of fact, y'all seem healthy. Best shape of your fucking lives. Besides, it's only four hours till dawn. By this world's logic, you can wait out an easy four hours, hit daylight, where I think vampires can still be out, but it's still safer to move about. So then you go back out the window you came from, go around the building, get in the pickup, and leave. But no! They try to put so much weight into this race to the security exit before the generator gives out. And they knew that was trash. So what do they do? Hey, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna blow the fucking place up at dawn. Why? We're gonna do it. But I don't understand. You know we're here. It's gonna go boom. I don't know why you're still talking to me. Oh, shit. Oh, nuts. We're blocked off again. Huh. Maybe if we start digging a tunnel of sorts, I think, huh? What? Do my eyes deceive me? Well, stay golden, pony boy. Uh, so I'm sorry. Let me get this straight. You guys have all lasted this long. You are the toughest of the tough. Survivors. Savages. And neither of you have weapons drawn? Do you even have weapons? You guys have all lasted this long and are shocked to see carnage? You want me to buy this? You look like the waitstaff at a Chili's getting together for drinks after work. Get the fuck out of here. So while they're going through it, we're getting glimpses of the hunters. For example. Tiger, you clear that area. Make a clean sweep. And they look cool. I think. Here's another example. Tagger, you clear that area. Make a clean sweep. Tagger, you clear that area. Make a clean sweep. This is the level we are on. <laughs> so Taggart starts to hit his clean sweep, and he sees a guy. Man's is posted. A lady is crying on the floor. I've got a survivor. Do you have any survivors? Taggart, if you can hear me, you need to be clear of zone seven by Sunna. <laughs> Next. 
Excuse me? What's even the context of this? Is this a bait? They must have known they were here. Was this guy supposed to be a sacrifice? Have these two wads been vibing in the drop ceiling? Oh, it's that lady, though. She was built up to be a real one. She's probably... <laughs> Okay. I remember when I was really young, and I used to get all scared. Well, by. blow me down. Shut up. I hate it when it's such a forced story that ties into their current situation. This 12 year old is not dropping gems like that. She plays Roblox. So these two get attacked, and no weapon Wallace just fucking dunks her into a locker. <laughs> Weeb! How am I supposed to root for these guys? There isn't one likable character. And it doesn't help that I don't believe you guys are capable of anything. This is the most incompetent, unprepared, disorganized pack of flesh I've ever seen in a post-apocalyptic movie. Nobody has weapons, not even makeshift weapons. Hell, even a pipe or the leg of a chair. I mean, there's a knife right here, you sacks. They have this woman and a small girl leading the pack while they have their arms out to the side like fucking Ariana Grande in a crew neck. And they are dying to separate at every point possible for no plausible reason. Hey, we're gonna go in here. Whoa, whoa. You gotta keep watch. If anything happens, call us. Even though we're just as useless. This guy's a druggie holding everybody back. This guy thinks he's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the paint. Like, just making a loud-ass noise with no caution. Aren't you guys scared? And also, why do you even care enough to throw this away? Who are you cleaning for? You're in a fucking apocalypse! Ah, <laughs> ah, it's so annoying when you listen to the lines and watch the actions. <laughs> keep saying if we would have stayed where we were we would have been dead and i guess it would have sucked not to eat but here you are now three hours until dawn i guess time flies when you're chucking mutants at combination locks we got three hours till dawn might take that long just to get down to the next level the hardest thing is going to be finding stairwells that aren't completely blocked or welded up what nobody's going to question that we really going to take advice from scarlet joe blanson Okay, the Scarlet Joe Blanson thing is kind of is kind of mean. There's just no way I was gonna leave that one on the table. I mean, come on. But anyways, welded? Why are pathways welded shut? You telling me? <laughs> you telling me these Draculas went to trade school? You telling me a shrimp fried this rice? And now we're also back to not acknowledging the fragility of these blockades. Also, also, three hours? I don't care what building this is or what blockades are in place. If I'm just going down a few floors, it's 20 minutes max. Am I going down a floor then driving to fucking Fresno and back? What if we are the only ones left? You know what that means? What? It means we're the monsters now. I don't think it means what you think it means. <sighs> She's good to go. <laughs> All right, I think you're all stitched up. Patched and ready to go. Yeah, you should be good. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> you see a dead body crawling out of a room and he gets snatched up. Back up. Oh, now we want to be careful, Kathy's. Come on. Throw me some more sky hooks, Charlie. Why don't you Muay Thai a few doors open again? Come on, where are you guys going? Come on, what's your sign? Capricorn? Bucket drummer? You loud fucks? They get into another room, and this sequence brings up yet another topic. So the vampires... <laughs> so the vampires are more intelligent than they are strong. Because they're setting traps left and right. They're smart, but they can also be subdued with a light shove. Which begs the question, why is this an epidemic? Hire the NFL and just run these tanks through the streets. Hit stick the hordes. Besides, the vampires don't even seem to use their most powerful attribute. That being, they're biting through fleshness. They aim to grapple. That's like their go-to move when they clearly don't have a plan Post grapple. Just eat these motherfuckers. Not hungry? Humans not keto friendly? Hey, what does a zombie on a diet eat? Fleshlight? <laughs> you know, I just bought a house off these jokes. <laughs> they end up splitting up because of this run in. Where are we? We can't go back that way. Dorothy said that all these hallways lead to the same place. How? 
That goes against everything. Fuck you. Without even referencing the year, I'm going to guess that this movie is post 2010, 2016 at the very latest. And I say that because this is a very Steven Seagal-esque movie. And if you're new to this channel, what that means is that Seagal is on the cover. Seagal is the draw. Seagal is an untouchable badass. He has zero, count him, zero flaws inside the movie. But he is far from the main character. He's screen time shy and he doesn't like to move a lot. Let me check the year. 2009? Fuck, my reputation. Using their splitting up abilities, Dylan walks into the bathroom and sees a guy. Okay, okay, it's a guy with long hair. He's alone. I'm pretty sure that's Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Don't quote me on that. I don't think so. I'm gonna guess this is the wise man. He's the random dude along the journey that knows way more about everything. He's gonna tell you like the zombie strengths and weaknesses. He knows how to deal with infection. You know what I'm talking about. I'm currently 0 for 1. Let's see. Can I join you? No! He's the stray survivor with bad intentions. <laughs> I'm over, dude. Taking it snatched up, but luckily the hunters were bored enough to help. It's okay. I'm one of the lucky ones. The thing about luck is you never know what's gonna run out. That is also how I talk to people as well. Cash out on the Buccaneers, Jim. Aren't I lucky? <laughs> Time is a virtue. My voice isn't gonna make it through this review. It's already dying. <laughs> I just realized, why don't any of you have guns? Is it the noise? Because that makes sense. But you guys never mentioned that, so I don't know how much that really matters because you end up using guns later anyways. I mean, you have a gun. You're just treating that shit like it's a purse. So the kid gets separated at one point and she sees a dead body. Sees another dead body. Sees a blanket and a pillow. Wait, a blanket and a pillow? Say less. I'm so tired. <laughs> but oh snap, it's... The, the solo guy, isn't it? They look incredibly similar. The old blanket pillow bait, huh? I mean, who could resist medium fluff at a time like this? More importantly, you had a pillow right there. Why? What is with these characters and refusing to use helpful things? <laughs> The evil solo guy has a daughter who is infected, so he just brings food to her. It's all very Reap Town-esque. Refer to my last video to understand that reference. And it's supposed to be a very impactful moment, but the score does this poor script no favors. The druggie, well, the adult druggie, is loaded up on painkillers? So he's on cloud nine, shout out Mango. And down he goes. There you go. They can actually kill. There just needs to be five of them and the target needs to be on the brink of consciousness. It's about an hour into the movie when a firearm is finally used. Who the fuck are you and what do you want? I'm the motherfucker that's gonna do you what you've been doing everybody else. Even though this was probably the freest kill here. The blonde's alone and look at this crafty bastard. If only he was as good at killing as he was at hide and seek. I guess it's only fitting that the enemy is trash because the group is trash. What's the point of running anymore? Open the door. Us. We think. We talk. We plan. Plan <gasps> some lunch, <laughs> you fucks. Coordinate some bites. What are you guys doing? I mean, there's no way that you stop us. Unless, of course, you just run away. That's proved difficult for us in the past. Since when are there four of you? Was that always a thing? I just noticed the fourth for no specific reason. They got Ricky. That's crazy. What were you doing? Watching? Crazy. Did you at least do the thing? You know. Ricky! Taggart should have just had his own movie. He's the only dude I want to see tussling with these scrubs. He's just the best guy in this group, especially the hunters. <laughs> Oh 
my guy. You don't need 32 bullets. You know this. All you need is one Debo punch and you're clear. So even though there's your run of the mill cheese, I do appreciate this type of stuff for what it is. Fun fact, by the way, Tanwai Reed is The Rock's longtime stunt double slash cousin. Taggart gets swarmed and quickly regroups with the squad to take the elevator down. Too late, man. She's gone. She's gone? You are hunters. You are assassins. I really doubt she got smoked in the one-on-one. -on -one. Press the button back up. Well, they actually just abandoned her. Okay, rip. Then the elevator gets stuck. So someone has to go out the hatch and manually start it back up. I don't know how. They just kind of figured that would work. Hey guys, we need to get the elevator moving. So let's send Taggart. Nah, this dude's basically carried the mission. Lady Assassin 2? Nah, we can't lose her. Cause then we're just two guys in leather. Kinda sus. <sighs> All right guys, I'll go. No, wait, I have to bend down? Get your normie ass down there. I don't even get this scene, and you wouldn't either. <laughs> Tegan climbs a ladder down to the flooded ground. To do what? I still don't know. And before he does anything, a zombie grapples him? It's not a zombie, fucking vampire, I don't know. They, they call him mutants? This is stupid. The thing grapples him and takes him underwater, and I guess now he's dead? Oh, there was a struggle? Someone should have said So that all happens, and then they close the hatch, and the elevator works now. But he didn't do anything! This dingo just drowned or something! And you guys definitely should not have been this confident closing the hatch. There wasn't even like an exchange of words. Come here, boy. Listen, man, I'm gonna give you this. Now, you take the women and the girl up top. You see this right here? That's a gun. If you press this a bunch, you run out of bullets. And that's no good. Take that. Good boy. Seagal just phones in his performances. I feel like everybody on set knows he whispers too much, tries to talk too fast, but nobody will say shit to him. And that's really funny to think about. He has them split up because they need to hunt. That's their thing. They promise to clear this place out. They get caught up and hell yeah. More tagger plays, let's go. <laughs> Bro, the female hunters are trash. It's almost like the women that were given no lines were expendable. Oh, fuck. Oh, I see Seagal had a hand in the writer's room. I guess I'm gay now, huh? I don't follow. Why would we- Just do it, man. We don't have time. Dylan gets attacked and he fucking deserves it for keeping the pistol in his pocket. Yeah, scurry off, girls. This guy couldn't protect the hot pocket. There's no way out. I'm sorry, what was that? There's no way out. Run that back one more time. There's no way out. Lord, why have you cursed me with ears? Why have you tainted me with hearing? Dorothy said that all these hallways lead to the same place. We're following these people, but do they really know the way to the security door? I know a shortcut. There's no way out. What happened? So my man sees sunlight, right? This looks like where you came in from, but sunlight. So we can safely assume it's an exit. Maybe that's the way. Dylan. One of us has to go check it out. Why one of us? You guys have stayed splitting up for the most trash reasons. Nobody is protected when you split up. You can all easily walk forward. <laughs> and what do these goons do as soon as they hear gunshots, which could only be coming from one party? Run away, you absolute bins. Where the fuck is everybody even going? If either pathway leads to the security exit, why are there so many twists and turns? The girls run into a little boy, standing ominously and twitching. Seems to be surviving down here with ease for some reason. He's not a fan. 
Good riddance. By the way, I'm like 95% sure that's the boy from the beginning, which tells me your methods of rescue are pointless. This kid somehow gets away with two peekaboos until Seagal does what Seagal does best. He takes down a mine. <laughs> Since they left this girl alive, she comes back and Dylan doesn't kill her. Way to give the handgun to the fattest ovary in the squad. Guarantee someone ends up dying because you left her alive. So the fighter jets have been closing in for a while now. I've just been neglecting this side of the movie because it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Calmly walking to the exit. We love to see it. Oh no, she's back. Damn it. I should have figured there were no more disposable women left. I'm ending no for three boys. What can I say? Shoot or shoot. So the horde shows up right on time. They all start to leave and then they instantly nuke the joint right after. And apparently blast radius isn't a thing. <laughs> we made it. I hope the immersion in this super epic emotional ending isn't immediately broken by a silly name at the top of the credits. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this movie review, please leave a like. It actually matters. Subscribe because I have more content coming your way and do the post notification thing. Shout out to my lovely, lovely, lovely patrons for always supporting the boy. And I'm gonna keep pushing the Mr. GG live channel because I think it's great. There's an hour long video of me donating to small streamers and it was probably my favorite stream of all time. Woo! Oh my God, what is going on? Oh shit, what the fuck? I haven't lobbed out a thank you for the continued support. So I'm doing that right now. Thank you guys for always watching, keeping up to date, keeping up to date with the videos, showing love. We are knocking on the door of 700,000 subscribers. And I got a lot planned this year. So as always, I am Mr. GG and I am out.